Welcome back to Land Studio. In this part, we will move on to setting up particles. As a template, we use the setup from the asset library. Go there, section VFX. We need Fontaine Cartoon VFX. Import it into the project. Drag it from the resources into objects. Ok, let's take a look inside. Here you can see various subgraphs that set behavior and shape of particles. For example, this one set the velocity at the moment of birth of the particles. Let's make it slower and point only upwards and sideways. Increase the lifetime and also don't forget to increase the maximum lifetime. The parameter is located on the spawn container. Replace the subgraph set size with set size by age. I want the particles to increase over their lifetime and create a splashing effect. Lower the gravity force. Add the set alpha subgraph. Fade in, fade out. For smooth appearance and disappearance of particles. Let's set small fading values. Something like that. To make alpha work, we need to make changes to the network that is connected to the output quad block. Here in get attribute node, instead of age ratio, you need to set the color. So, we will read the color together with the alpha that is stored on the particles. Separate only the alpha and replace the subtract with multiply. Cool, now we have a smooth fade. But what about color? There is no attribute here where we could set the color. It's already baked into the texture. So, let's create it ourselves. We take only luminance from the texture. Multiply it by 1.3 for example, to make it brighter. And plug it into the ratio attribute of the mix node. So, now we can set any colors. Ok, like this. And the last thing. In the spawn container, you see that the emitter is a sphere. Let's remove it and add a new one with the torus. Increase the radius. Change the direction. Now move it to the bottom of our portal. I'll turn off the occluder for now to see the boundaries of the geometry. Put it down about here. As you can see, the particles are displayed on top of the portal. Let's fix it. Go to the fix editor. We need output quad container. Change depth functions to less equal. We can turn the occluder back on. And that's all, the effect is done. I hope this video was useful for you and inspired you to use more of the material editor to create cool shaders. Thanks and see you in the next videos.